an embarrassing and expensive admission from Volvo today. The Swedish car maker agreed to pay the state of Texas more than $300,000 and to pull a very eye-catching commercial off the air and out of the newspapers. It was attention-getting, all right. It was also misrepresentation. Here's ABC's Bob Jamison. Up and running. The commercial claimed to show rugged Volvo winning a Texas car crushing contest against all opposition last June. That car refuses to go down. Volvo print ads showed its car intact, surrounded by crushed vehicles from other automakers. But Texas authorities said today there never was a car crushing contest and that the commercial was a staged hoax. In fact, the authorities said the Volvo's roof was given extra steel reinforcement, while reinforcements built into the other cars were removed. They made it appear as if this was a, uh, a, an actual event that took place here in Austin, Texas on June the 12th, which did not happen. It was pure deception. Volvo said it bought space in Texas and national newspapers tomorrow to print this letter of apology. It feels pretty dumb, uh, but I think that uh, what we need to do okay, uh, is to, as I said, truly learn from it uh, to make sure that we don't make that mistake in the future. Volvo says it did not know the cars had been modified, even though its advertising manager was in Texas for the commercial's production. Volvo's ad agency, Scally McCabe Sloves, claims it did not know either, which leaves only the production company that made the commercial to be heard from. Bob Jamison, ABC News, New York. On Wall